Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are still in Chapter 3, 3.2 Specification Based Techniques and we are looking at the next technique which is Decision Table Testing. Right from the foundation we already know that there are uh, techniques which are helpful in specification based or black box testing techniques which help us uh, minimize the test cases and add more efficiency while creating limited and minimum number of test cases where decision table is one among them which helps you to uh, work on the scenarios which are having different and several conditions which can be having different combinations put together and to be tested with the respective outputs each combination is a test considered in this particular technique so no matter what number of uh, conditions you come up with each one is called as a test in advanced level, we'll be understanding further in more detail about this technique away from the foundation level. That is, this technique will be further divided into two categories called as collapsed decision table and non-collapsed decision table. To understand the same, uh, we will take an example here to understand in more detail that how and what exactly the collapsed decision table and non-collapsed decision table works about. So here is a quick example to understand both the concepts uh, and this is a typical type of uh, question in the examination as well which you can consider. The insurance company called as Good Health has launched a new health insurance product for all customers both new and existing with the following specification. Standard premium fee is $500. A bonus program offer customers buying the health insurance product with a dollar twenty-five discount to the standard premium fee to accept participating in medical test even if they are not participating but if you just accept the participation you get a twenty-five dollar discount even if you don't take up the test and other things next the customers get a twenty-five dollar discount to the standard premium for each one of the four medical tests which are BMI, blood pressure, glucose and cholesterol that they take as a part of yearly medical test plus an extra $75 if they take all four tests. Now what they want to know from you in this scenario is how many test cases are needed when using a collapsed decision table, how many test cases are needed when using a non-collapsed decision table but with the limitation to test customers who do not accept to participate in any medical test with only one test. Now what this last line means, what is a collapse table, what is a non-collapse table, let's understand in more detail. So considering this particular scenario, let's look at the table which will be created out of this. So here's the decision table which will be created out of the scenario. First of all, if you look at the very first column here, uh, that is the criteria. One is accepting to participate and uh, then following that we have the four tests. So these are the only five conditions. So the very first test is considered in terms of if the uh, user does not accept to participate. Then of course all other tests are non-applicable in this case and this is one of the test case. Other than that, if the person accepts, we have the possibilities of the four tests and the four are considered with altogether 16 combinations. So on the top you can see generally from the boolean and those uh, truth table concept we get 2 raised to 4 which means 16 test cases which you will get. So putting it all together one for not accepting and there are four conditions that means four tests and the combination of four tests will come up to 16 so we will have total 17 test cases and further put together this is what you call it as a non-collapsed decision table. That means all possible combinations which you can try with. So we have 17 test cases as per non-collapse table. Now what do you mean by collapse table? That means that there are certain test cases which are not mandatorily required to be executed if one of the combination is tested. Now let's see what is that in the other table. Now if you look into this particular table here, we have got the first test which is a scenario, special scenario that the user does not accept to participate at all. So that has to be tested. Plus the last one if you see, the person accepts but does not take any test. So we do have a condition there in the question as you saw that you accept to participate but do you do not take up any of the tests. So no, 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 you get just $25 discount. Now we got two. There are other test cases which you can look in is the four. Four means 
we have four more test case required that means the four different tests now that can be tested with any of the combinations out of these 15 test cases the remaining 15 test cases you can pick any four which would be enough to try the scenario of each test that is BMI blood pressure glucose cholesterol and that is what the meaning of the last line was that you just have to test one using any condition or any scenario so altogether we would need only six test cases based on collapsed where the first and the 17th are the critical scenarios and for the four test that is BMI BP glucose and cholesterol you need any of these 15 combination that will be just four test cases so four plus one plus one you would have six test cases so let's come back to our options again so we have got five options here now you know very well what is your right answer so C is six test cases needed for collapse decision table and E 17 are needed for non collapse table okay but if you really take into consideration and if you might have a quick query that why not more because there was there may, there may be possibility that we have several combination further if the person does not accept or maybe accept and take certain tests then you may have a lot many combinations like that which is 32 or something but that's really not predictable how many test cases you can read that's exhaustive so that's where decision table actually fits so that's all from this particular tutorial team I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and this was beneficial to add a value to your understanding from the point of decision table testing so should you have any further queries feel free to comment below I'll be there to assist you and make you understand more about the same till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team happy learning